ಮಾಡೋಣ What's up, Yara fam? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yara to You. I'm Miss Tina, and you're joining me for What's That Sound? So, can anyone remember the hints and definitions from the last episode? So, remember the three different words for today. The first hint is it's the opposite of hello. The second one is, which is the definition, is to identify an agent performing an action. And the third word, which is also a definition, is to obtain in exchange for payment. So the words that sound the same but have different meanings are, drum roll please, buy, 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 and buy. You can see they are spelled differently. So B-Y-E, which is the opposite of hello, when you're saying bye. The second one is B-Y, which is to identify an agent performing an action. And B-U-Y, which is to obtain an exchange for payment. So bye, bye, and bye. I'll give you the definitions for the next episode. The first one is, it's the past tense of ride. And the second one is, a wide way leading from one place to another, and generally, vehicles use them. So, be kind, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye now. Can you um, see that big basket there of things? Can you just lift it and put it down here for me? This is what happened one day. Jesus was coming to, to eat dinner with somebody and they were getting it all nice, just like Orlando, he just put everything there. Yeah, they got it all good. That's right. Thank you. And then Orlando, you can sit down there. That's excellent. That's good. And Jesus was coming to his house, just like now. And they were sitting there. Oh, and all this great food, it was some of the best food you could buy in that town. Now that town, it's called Jericho. Who can say Jericho? Ah, oh, a bit better. Jericho. 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 Ha, that's the name. And Jesus was sitting there with Orlando. No, he's not called Orlando. He's got another name. But you know what? What do you think he does? This fella. He's good, really. But really, in the story, he's a robber. You want to be a robber? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just for this story, he's a robber. But they're eating the food and he just wants to see that it's all okay. So he says, Jesus, is this good food? Yes. That it was indeed, it was good food. Jesus was very happy to come to eat with his robber. But that other mob, over here, who else wants to help tell the story? Put up the hand. I might have to choose someone. Who can it be? Tenace, come up here. You help me too. Now, Tenace was watching. He was checking it out. Tenace, are you checking it out? Yeah. He is. He is indeed. The boys from BLA, they can check it out, all right? He's checking it out, and he says, ah, that fellow sitting down there, he's a robber, and I don't like it. You say, I don't like 
about it and like <laughs> exactly and that's what happened people were watching Jesus sitting down with the robber and they didn't like it did they like it at all? not at all no not at all and they got really mad and they started to tell everyone else, Jesus is eating with a robber. Jesus is eating with a robber. Yeah, just like that. Thanks to that, you go sit down. Jesus was eating with a robber. It was a robber who was very good at climbing up trees. His name, it wasn't really Orlando, <laughs> it was Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. You know that story? Jesus is coming to Jericho, and Zacchaeus wants to see Jesus, but there's too many people, so he climbs up on the tree, and he says, oh, I can see him now. And just he's about to get down and go home, Jesus says, Hey, Zacchaeus, what? I'm coming to your house today. And they go and have lunch together. Now, Jesus is pretty smart. He knew what Tanais and those mob was going to say. Hey, Jesus knew he was going to get into trouble. So how come he went to eat with the robber? How come he goes to eat with the robber? It's easy. He wants the robber to know. Even though he's a robber, God still loves him. Zacchaeus, so even though you are still a robber, You've been a robber for a long time. God still loves you. Does God love you? You say yes. 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 Zacchaeus understood it. And when Jesus went home, Orlando, can you help me put all this stuff home now? Thank you. When Jesus went home, the next day, Zacchaeus all the money that he'd stolen, he went and gave it all back. And then half of his other money that he had, because he was rich, he took half of it all and he gave it to poor people. And then he wasn't a robber anymore. Thank you, Mr. Orlando, and thank you to nice people in the back. Hi, this term in senior class A, we're going to be looking at having some fun with numbers. And for the next uh, this activity and next activity, you will need a calculator, but if you don't have one at home, you could ask to borrow someone's mobile phone because they do have calculators on them. Or if you're really smart, you could just add up the numbers in your head on a piece of paper, whatever. This usually takes a bit more time, but you can still get the answer by doing it the old fashioned way. Now, two symbols we need to know about are the addition, adding or plus symbol, which is like this, or and the equals sign. Okay, today we're going to look at our hundreds chart and we're going to add up all the numbers across each row. When we're using a calculator, we will add up the numbers. I'll show you how when we look at the hundreds chart. Sing one and then the plus symbol, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, and so on till you get to plus ten and then you'd hit the equal sign which will give you an answer of 55.
for the next row, you would start by adding 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 until you get right to the end, plus 20, and then you hit the equal sign. Have a go at doing all the rows and see if you can see a pattern that starts to show up. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added up each row and put the answer at the end. Can you see a pattern there? I'll give you a few minutes to have a look if you can see the pattern. Right, so the first row adds up to 55. The second row that starts with a 1 adds up to 155. The second row that starts with a 2 adds up to 255. So the pattern is that they all end in 55 and they start with the number of the row. Have a go at home, see if you can do that. G'day, my name's Paul, I'm one of the teachers here at Urara College. Um, this term in our electives for the senior school, uh, we're doing cooking. And in our uh, cooking electives, um, this term we're focusing on healthy eating and we're focusing on um, giving the students the skills to be able to create healthy meals, um, not only here at school at Urara College, but also back home in their community. So. The reason why we've decided to focus on healthy eating for our elective is that we, um, we know that there's a lot of um, health issues that face um, communities across Australia, particularly remote Indigenous communities. Uh, there's a lot of issues with diabetes, with um, kidney disease, uh, problems with um, cardiovascular disease and um, kids right across Australia who might be overweight or obese, um, both in non-Indigenous and Indigenous communities. So healthy eating is one of the ways to um, address some of those health concerns. And um, in some communities where I've worked in Central Australia, um, up to 34% of the adults in that community have diabetes. So it's a really big um, issue and something that we want to try and um, address here at um, at school at Urara to give those um, students that come here the skills to be able to um, provide healthy meals for their families when they go back to their communities. Um, the um, cookbook that we'll be using this term um, is actually produced by the Jimmy Little Foundation and the Fred Hollows Foundation. Um, it's called Kukumbat Gudwandaga which in English translates to <coughs> really cooking good food. Yeah. 
back everyone. I hope everyone had a good weekend. Welcome to week two. This term is flying by really fast already. I won't, I'll try not to talk too much because I'm not sure if it's going to rain or not today. But this is Monday morning movement. By that I mean you move your bodies and you start the week right by getting involved in some sport. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. We've got two activities. We've got soccer or football over there. And we have t-ball slash dodgeball over here. Okay, so all the fellas will go to one activity, all the ladies will stay at one activity, and then we'll swap at halfway. Hey guys, welcome to very nice out here on a Monday morning. Um, it's a bit cloudy, but hey, at least the sun's not out, you know. So yeah, stay tuned, y'all.
Aisha Wolgrang and welcome. In our last bulletin for this term, we travel to one of our local water halls, visit some small planes and see what's happening on our council lawns. I say thank you for the hard work throughout this term. Three of our senior classes went out for the day. Christella Campbell helped with this report. Foundations A and B and the senior class of Yoara had a beautiful drive out past the West McDonald Range to Glen Helen. Everyone walked down to the water past the magnificent red sandstone ridges. The water was so cold and the sun was so warm. A few little ducks were swimming in the reeds. After some time near the water, we had lunch, which Miss Andrea had kindly organized. The fellas got those kangaroo tails cooking and help with the barbecue. There was plenty to eat, sausages, kangaroo steak and tails, bread, salad, fruit and juices. Everyone just had a good relax and time away from the classroom, listening to music, talking and resting. The students had a lovely time and here's a few quotes from the day. I like the water and the gap look amazing. The sand was warm, the wind was blown, the water was too cold. A sunny day and it was great. We saw water, birds, ducks, fish, green water, cold water. Yara is holding another great open day and everyone is invited to come and visit our school. This year it will be after our annual confirmation service. I caught up with Thomas to learn some more. Thomas, I heard there's something exciting happening next term. Yeah, so we're having our first community open day here at Urara. Um, it's going to be a really exciting day. We've got the, the day full of activities and we're opening up the campus to the public and the students' families to come and see what's happening out at Urara. Uh, Thomas, what's happening on the day? Yep, so the day's going to be really exciting. We've got a few activities happening. Um, we've got rides, including a mechanical bull. We've got the band, a couple of bands playing, including our school band and our students will be singing as well because we've got a lot of students doing some good things out here and we want to show show everyone what they are doing so show people the vet courses show the classroom work we'll be having some school tours to show you our campus as well just so you get a bit of an idea of what happens here at Urara. To help our students understand the story they have been working on in class this term, Lucasta O'Keefe has this report. One of the year nine classes visit Charter out at our local airport to see a light airplane up close. They have been reading the stories hatched by Gary Paulson that is about a young 13 year old boy who had to fly and crash land a plane in a lake after the pilot had a heart attack. Sitting in the pilot seat walking around and touching the the plane has really helped the students to visualize the story. It was great seeing the pilots being asked so many questions. A special thank you to Chart Air for their help and time. We recently visited some of our Year 9 class to hear more about the story they have been working on throughout the term. They enjoyed reading the book and had lots of fun building some dioramas to help understand the story better. Hello, my name is Latisha and I'm from Barolola. Hi, my name is Shaolan and I'm from Tenon Creek. I heard you ladies been working through a project through this term. Um, could you tell us a little bit about it? This term we have been learning about survival. We have read the book Hatchet about a boy lost in the Canadian woods after a plane crash. We chose a scene and made a model about it. What's something you really enjoyed about the project? Um, I enjoyed creating the diorama. I really enjoyed reading and listening to the story. My name is Matthew. I'm from Kupiti. I'm enjoying the book. I'm looking forward to reading the end of it. We are really looking forward to the end of the story. 
Ms. Hilary Field, our school counselor, worked on a special project with some of our senior students. Let's take a look. On Friday the 8th of September, myself and senior students Benedict and Morgan attended Alice Springs World Suicide Prevention Day event held by the Mental Health Association of Central Australia. Leading up to the day, our senior school students took part in discussions around our school's commitment to taking part in the national conversation around the prevention of youth suicide. Morgan and Benedict demonstrated their commitment to this year's theme, Take a Minute, Save a Life, by joining in creating the artwork and speaking publicly at the event held on the Town Council lawns in Alice Springs. On the day, Morgan and Benny presented the artwork as a gift to the Mental Health Association in honour of their ongoing hard work in the area. The artwork was well received and many of the attendees of the event came and had a closer look. Here at Urara, we are strongest when we are together. We are strongest when we are looking out for each other and taking the time to see how each other are feeling. As a school, it's so important that we keep talking, keep sharing and keep listening to each other, especially when things get tough. We are so proud of Morgan and Benny for their strength and bravery and congratulate them for the way they represented the college. On behalf of students and staff, I would like to say congratulations to everyone who made it through to the end of an exciting term and stay safe on the holidays. Goodbye and we look forward to seeing you on Monday the 16th of October 2017. Bye and I'll catch you all next term. Stay safe.